Yep, these have been done before, but hey, why not do another one? This is the uh, EcoFlow River. The reason I got this one is because it has the uh, 600 watt output, uh, I think, to run an AC. And again, this is just kind of a theoretical, you know, what can I drive deal. Uh, you know, you'd be pushing the other units. Um, you know, your use may vary. So yeah, it will drive a little AC. This is actually a 6,000 BTU. I believe the smallest you can buy is a five. So if you're running energy saver, that should run it even longer. You know, you're not gonna get a whole night out of this, but if you were to take like a car battery or I've got a couple of old car batteries and, and put it in on the solar circuit, uh, tell it it's solar, uh, it'll, pull about a hundred watts out of my battery um, and those are not new and they're lead acid so basically any 12 uh, volt input will let you pull 200 watts so you know that would extend the life of this uh, it's not going to fully support it but that's going to cover about in this case about half my power burn so you know let's say you get, might get over an hour out of it so you know at night when the power's out you know it let let you cool down a small room or if you're camping you know get you that first uh, hour hour and a half of use so your tent gets cool or whatever you're using it for um, this is a fairly new uh, AC unit uh, right now I've just got it on low speed fan and energy saver well uh, let's see what happens if we kick it out of energy saver to cool um, yeah and again I don't know exactly what that does it maybe draws a little bit more kicks it up to 500 again that's well within the output of this at 600 uh, it did peak up there a little bit okay yeah it peaked up a little bit but still, that's not pushing it. And again, this is a 6,000 BTU AC, whereas you could buy a 5,000 BTU and probably be well within, you know, what this unit will run. Let's just see, go back to energy saver. Eh, that's about the same. Okay, but I can, I'm sorry, there, get the glare off the screen. It's about the same, but again, it will run it. And like I said, I did turn the fan speed down to low, so that'll save you a few watts. And we'll move this around. You can see the model number and stuff. Let's say that e even the cheap ACs are probably more efficient now. I'm not sure how old this one is, but there are the specs on it. It says 520 watts. That seems reasonably accurate. Five amps, or 4.9 amps, at 115 would put this at less than the 600 watts that the river will drive and as a final thought i'm pretty sure this one also has a battery expansion so you could get the battery expansion and then you know run your extra car battery or whatever into the uh the 12 volt side and uh extend that you know who knows i'm not sure how big the battery is to be honest with you uh, pick this one up on sale uh, should be good you know at least in a in the event of a power outage for running box fans etc and in a pinch you know hey cooling your room down a little bit so you can get to sleep if you've got a small room or something so anyway thanks for watching i'll try to remember to put a link to amazon on there if you want to pick one of these up that's where i got mine uh, pretty happy with it. Uh, I did get a free solar cable with this. There is a coupon and it comes with uh, this input for cigarette lighter, I believe. That's an AC power input and something else in the middle. Oh, I guess there was something else I thought. I, mean, I think this is output. There's another cord here. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with it, <laughs> honestly. It's like a female to female that you can plug in something else, but I'm not sure what the intended use of that is so you do get one more cable once again thanks for watching give me a like subscribe thumbs up hope you found this interesting i did